sixth fight of the night. Mixed if you, martial if arts you make amateur. knives for a living. Three three-minute rounds introducing right now the blue Actually, it's corner. a multi-tool. 31 years of age at a height of 5'10 and a weight of 170 pounds. Sorry, the redneck wins, had to come just out. Just two me. losses from Woodstock, Georgia, fighting for tough martial arts. Blue corner, Seth Cowell. His opponent, 22 years of age, at a height of 6'2 and a weight of 170 pounds. Debut fight, zero wins, zero losses from Franklin, North Carolina. Good God, North Carolina! Fighting for Legacy Fight Club, red corner, Gabe Leatherman. Is Petey Pablo in the house too? <laughs> I was Will just about Fisher to make is your that referee comment. for this amateur mixed martial arts. Welcome to round one. Oh, there's another Hooters girl. Yep, we got two in the house. They're both pretty hot. An A plus. Now that we have easy, two. Easy, easy. Come on, A plus. A, this one's an A plus. A plus is, is like the best a, the, you can have. This is my style right here. Be your style, but it's not an A plus. You always hey, got to be wanting more. Listen to me. That's my style. A plus. Sorry, you're you're single, and we won't go into the rest. Thank you. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I rate the ponytail at eight point five. It's got great length. Didn't talk about the way it waved or anything about the Pantene bounce of it. Eight point five. I'll let Southside Steve know in the intermission. Leatherman green trunks, Caldwell white trunks. And Leatherman says, hey, I'm going to throw you through the ropes. Then we'll figure out what's going on. Dropping in on a single there is Leatherman. 0-2 versus 0-0. Somebody's O's got to go, and the O is a win. <laughs> I'm thoroughly confused. <laughs> Usually you say that when it's a battle of undefeateds. In this, it's the battle of defeated. <laughs> nah, because Leatherman's 0-0. He's never been defeated. Oh, big, big return there for Leatherman. Oh, he's got an arm triangle here, hopping off to the side. This is trouble. Uh, Caldwell just needs to relax here and answer the phone. And by answer the phone, I mean put his... Right palm on his ear. Power stand up, grabs onto the ropes. I'm calling locked hands there. Oh, yeah, it's not a wrestling match. I was thinking five. I'm in freestyle <laughs> mode. Full mount here for Leatherman. Oh, Caldwell does a good job of retaining. Is that full guard or half guard? I can't tell from my angle. That's full guard. Full guard for Caldwell. 31 years old, Caldwell. Leatherman, 22. Almost 10 years difference. Man, I'm 32, and I don't fight anymore because I'm too old. Caldwell didn't get the memo. I respect it. David Oglis has not come over here and said hey to us yet. Undisputed Productions. I'm a little upset. This is a 170-pound amateur MMA. Basically, grappling match on the ground. They can strike to the body, not to the head. No elbows anywhere. Knees to the body on their feet. Strikes to the face on their feet. I imagine with the training gloves, you can't do too much damage to the body. Oh, uh, believe it or not, I mean, well, looks like a triangle attempt there from Caldwell. Leatherman looks like he's trying to cut a knee up the middle, which is exactly what he needs to do. He needs to cut a knee up the middle. Pass guard, get side control. Basically on the ground, you're only gonna score points for being in dominant positions. That's side control, full mount, submission attempts. Just kind of hanging out and guarding, punching the body. He's not gonna get you much. To his feet is Caldwell. Body lock is Leatherman though. Side, full side control here for Leatherman. We're going 10-8, 10-9. 10-9 system in Georgia, which is basically effective aggressiveness, submission attempts, controlling the fight. Who's trying to end the fight for the most part? Um, so they're going three three-minute rounds. 10-9 must system. 
I'm giving that 10 for Leatherman, 9 for Caldwell. If you jump ahead of me on this one, it is what it is. Love Joy Wrestling. Whoa! I just got a text of a chick in a bikini. She's a bodybuilder type chicken. That's right up your alley, Lee. He's got a weird look on his face. I'll give it a, a 8.7. Somebody went and downloaded that off the internet. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. 917 area code. It, it, it scares me when they got better abs than me. Anybody can have better abs than me. This is true. That doesn't mean I'm not shredded. It just means I can't have abs. That means you're just hiding. Yeah. I like keeping them padded. 170 pound amateur MMA Woodstock Georgia Caldwell Franklin North Cackalack Gabe Leatherman He is heir he is Gabe is heir to the multi tool enterprise So why is he fighting cuz he likes it Snappy little jab there from Leatherman Caldwell coming out looking a little bit more aggressive, but Leatherman's just all about some body lock here. Back in on the body lock. He traps the arm. He needs to step over that far leg for the takedown. It looked like Leatherman was looking for a little bit of a trip there. Almost went the judo man headlock. Oh, now we're just slugging it out. Dirty boxing. Fighting in a phone booth there for a half a second. Leatherman with the leg attack. Caldwell's been the one with the leg attacks up to this point. A little guillotine attempt here from Leatherman. Not going to happen. Caldwell jumps sides, immediately passes the knee here. He's in half guard. As stated before, a little bit more of a grappling match on the ground with the amateur MMA. Advanced amateur MMA, different story you can strike to the head. But Caldwell is winning the position war here. Devlin needs to get back in this fight. Winning this round. Cuts a knee up the middle pretty easily. Oh, he's getting his back. Oh, he's got full mount back. Full mount slash back here. These amateur MMA gloves are like training MMA gloves. They're a little bit thicker. It's going to be kind of hard to cinch up a rear naked here, but it can happen. He needs to cut that thumb of his right hand right behind the jawbone of Leatherman. Leatherman's doing a decent job of hiding his chin in here. He seems to be staying pretty calm. That's the main thing right here. If you can stay calm, fight hands a little bit, getting somebody's back isn't as dominant. It's going to be done. I will say this, position-wise, oh, he recovers pretty well with him. Full was, guard now. I was going to say position-wise, in the judges' minds, in an amateur fight especially, position-wise, it's going to be a dominant position. Having somebody's back uh, in a pro fight, not as much, especially if a guy's spinning off a, a submission attempt. Nonetheless, Leatherman reverses. I don't necessarily know if you call it a reverse because he ends up in full guard. Caldwell's full guard, that is. I still say Caldwell's winning this round. Sorry, I was a little distracted. I was more than a little distracted. She had chaps on. I'm sorry. I apologize for the viewers tuning in at home. Oh, no. Wait and, a minute. And she was carrying a lemon drop. <laughs> she did not have a lemon drop. She did. Liar. Yes, she did. You lie. Ooh, look like. Like Caldwell was trying. I called it that time. I called it. I saw it coming. Quick hands. He, he kicked your microphone, but he knocked your phone over. So you still lose. Who won that round? What's the score? How are you scoring it right now? 404, 394, 3252. American Idol costs you 50 cents. We're free. 4 4 all 3 night 9 long 4 3 2 5 2. All night long, we're free until midnight. Then it goes up a little bit. Then my wife starts looking at my phone. <laughs>
The number one MMA fight show in the Southeast returns in only three weeks for a very special show. On Friday, May 7th, Wild Bill's Fight Night returns with a show where all the tickets are only $25. For only 25 bucks, you could be sitting ringside in row one, up close and personal to all the hard hitting action. It's first come, first serve, so buy your tickets now. Wild Bill's Fight Night on Friday, May 7th will feature an all amateur night of fights where several titles will be on the line. Wild Bill's Fight Night, Friday, May 7th. <laughs> we'll, we'll change the number at midnight. I'll give him mine. Yeah, we'll, at midnight, we'll give you Lee Roper's number. He's single. And you can text all night long. Absolutely. Especially if you're six foot blonde, about 210. That's right in his wheelhouse. Everybody needs a workout, brother. <laughs> I'm in training. Hey, I say we got an even fight. What do you say? I say even fight as well. Coach Lee Rod says even fight. You call me Lee Rod again, I will fight you right now. Lee Rod won't fight me. I will fight you right now. I just called his bluff. Third and final round, amateur MMA, 170 pounds. Seth Caldwell, 31. Gabe Leatherman, 22. 5'10", Seth Caldwell, 6'2", Gabe Leatherman. Both guys throwing knees. Leatherman, Leatherman body lock. Loves that position. Not doing much with it, though. He seems to get frustrated when he can't get the takedown. If you're listening on the internet and you live in Georgia, compoundwrestling.com. Come train with us tomorrow. 3 to 5.30. Boom! Body lock. Leatherman side control. Caldwell needs to cut that right knee back up between him and Leatherman. Retain some guard. He actually goes to his side. Not good here. He'll end up in half guard. Cutting the left knee up, getting half guard. That's not a terrible position. Ooh. To full guard. I like it. I like it. Seth Caldwell, tough martial arts. Leatherman, Legacy Fight Club. We got a GA versus a NC here. Roper showing no love for his Georgia folk. But he did go to college in North Carolina, Boone, North Carolina, App State. 516 area code, the ring car girls are super hot. I concur. <laughs> Our boy, Tim from Caldwell. Leatherman got his elbow past his crotch. I don't think you can slam an amateur MMA. No, he, was just trying, he was just trying to clear the arm bar. That wasn't a slam. I would call that a slam if I'm a ref, but okay. I am partial to Caldwell. It says the ring car girls are super hot. Tell the boys uh, up north what's up. I'll try to talk to them later. They usually don't let me and Lee near the ring car girls for obvious reasons. <laughs> talk more about your son. We're interested in how he's doing in college. He redshirted Indiana this year. He's doing all right. He just wrestled at University Nationals. He's progressing fine. I appreciate you guys asking. Ryan LeBlanc from New York is wrestling in Indiana this year with the Hoosiers. They're pretty good friends. They work out quite frequently. LeBlanc's a great kid. Full guard here for Caldwell. Right now I'm giving the, giving the round to Leatherman. Lee Roper. I'm going Leatherman as well. He's pretty much controlled the position the whole time from that first body lock to the takedown. Of course you're going Leatherman. You picked him to win the fight. I can't help it. He's winning the round. Stating the obvious. The sign of a amateur announcer. <laughs> Boom! You're just angry I'm winning. <laughs> Leatherman... Not, believe it or not, Leatherman's grabbing his elbow. He's actually in a little bit of pain from that armbar attempt. Now, I will say this, back in the pride fighting days, submission attempts, submission attempts were scored a lot more heavily than I agree with. So if a guy's trying to end the fight, even if he was on his back the entire fight, he could possibly win the fight. I think that's evolved a little bit. 
as times have moved on in the sport of MMA is above. We're about to find out. All right, in the sixth fight of the night, an amateur mixed martial arts scheduled for three three-minute rounds. It went the distance. We have a split decision. What? Judge A oh, saw it no. 29-28 Caldwell. Judge B saw it 29-28 Leatherman. Judge C saw it 29-28. And your winner is Blue Corner Seth Caldwell.